Doctor Who. Storm warning. So hello and welcome Doctor Who Fanatics to another Doctor Who CD review. Today I'll be taking a look at Storm Warning which was requested by God knows how many people but I know that a lot of people were waiting for a review for this so yep it is happening today. So we, we just fly through this review and look at the cover art we have Paul McGann as the Doctor as you can see a star Paul McGann R101 with the R01 in the background with the compass symbol by here and a bit of thunder and lightning by that looks pretty cool and uh, with uh, Paul McGann it actually has a golden Doctor Who which uh, corresponds with his Doctor. So we have the side, it's a bit of just a gold uh, text by there saying Storm on and it is really 16. We look at the back, it's a four part story written by Alan Barnes who is still writing our big finished stories which is great because he is a great writer and directed by Gary Russell who done a lot of the direction in the early era of Big Finish. This is starring Paul McGann, India Fisher and Gareth Thomas. The Symbolis, October 1930, His Majesty Airship, the R101, sits her maiden voyage to the farthest flung reaches of the British Empire, carrying the brightest lights of the Imperial Fleet, carrying the hopes and dreams of a breathless nation. Not to mention a ruthless spy with a top secret mission on a mysterious passenger who appears nowhere on the crew list. It would be adventures destined for a Singapore Hilton and a Time Lord from, a planet, from the planet Gallifrey. There's a storm coming, there's something unspeakable, something with wings crawling across the stern thousands of feet high in the blackened sky. The crew of the R101 brace themselves when the storm breaks, their lives won't be all that as their lives won't be all that at stake. The future of the galaxy will be handed by a thread. And this story is a hundred and ten minutes approx. So we have the innards with uh, the booklet and the disc, which has the compass logo by that. If we open it, I gotta be quite careful because this is a uh, quite not really a good disc. If I just tip it, they just literally just fall out. It's not really a good CD case. But if we look at it, it just shows the clouds of thunder and lightning. It's a terrible CD case because the discs just keep falling out. So I gotta be quite gentle with that if I don't want to damage the discs. So we have the booklet, with uh, behind the scenes with the characters featured in the story. And then there's talking about each part of Storm Morning, and then some other releases from the Doctor Who monthly range. Uh, other big finished stories like spin off like Beneath Summerfield, or BBC Books, and Doctor Who magazine. And then there's some more writer's notes of from Alan Barnes. So my overall thoughts and opinions on. Storm Warning. Now this is the first Paul McGann audio ever and it, what makes this one so special that it continues on his story because he only had one story which was the movie and if he did have a series like a televised series he would have been my childhood doctor because he was the doctor back in my time so if he did have a televised ser series and I knew about it when I was really young he would probably be my all time favourite doctor because as of I've listened to his audios he is just on fire as a doctor and he is it might be quite controversial to some people but Paul McGann is actually one of my all-time favorite doctors and he reigns a third place with first Paggy Shrow and second John Pertwee third Paul McGann you might find that very controversial but he is just a fantastic doctor because if I didn't experience big finish then that would probably never happen but what makes this story again so funny that yeah it is the first Paul McGann story but also featuring another character known as Charlotte Pollard or she likes to call herself Charlie. She's a really good character. Starts off she's had a, a long run with the Doctor and she ends with a, I think her ending story with the Doctor is a blue forgotten planet I think or it might be the girl who never was. I can't I don't really know because I don't have the story but yeah, it has very interesting characterization in it. And that's probably the biggest thing with Storm Warning. It has really essential characterization to know the characters. And again, with Paul McGann, he's got the Doctor. He's got very interesting characterization. Very different to Dark Eyes to this story because that horrible turn of events happened. But in this, you can see it really had an era going. And it would have been absolutely fantastic if something like that happened. 
Now a store morning, where I don't really want to go anywhere in the story, but it's one of these type of stories which you cannot change the course of history. Again, like a bit like Spare Parts, for example, that was in something about history and they cannot change that. But Storm Warning is the exactly same thing and a lot of different things happen. It has a lot of different alien threats in this one. Um, a lot of them are non-intelligent and some of them are actually intelligent. And it has, yeah, the aliens are quite convincing. Maybe I'm not really a fan of their voices or the intelligent ones. Their voices sound a bit, I don't know. I wish they were more like powerful and convincing, but... Yeah, they still do a fantastic job, but they didn't sound so convincing in my opinion. Anyway, with Storm Warning, yes, it is a good Paul McGann story, but I wouldn't class it as the best Big Finish story ever, or the best Paul McGann story ever. I would probably get ones like Sword of Orion, uh, The Chimes of Midnight, uh, think of any good Paul McGann ones, uh, Terra Firma, which I actually do find pretty good, because I borrowed that from a friend and I thought that was pretty damn good, and uh, Dark Eyes, for example, but... Yeah, this one is good, but yeah, there have been some other good Big Finish stories. And a lot of people were saying, yeah, it is the rarest Big Finish out of the entire range. It is very difficult to get hold of. I had a flipping nightmare to pick this one up since it was out of print. And I completely forgot about it. It was out of print, so I stopped it. So if you have missed a lot of the out of print audios, uh, prepare for big eBay prices. Because yes, you will be paying big to get Storm Warning. You might be lucky, I was lucky with it, I found it in the shop for about £10 in Cardiff. I forgot what the shop is, but it was somewhere in Cardiff and that was a flipping bargain for this audio. Some people pay around £80 to £200 in this, or on this audio for collection's sake and believe me, don't be stupid and pay that much money. Because it was, it, I know it's a really rare audio, but it's not worth £200 the story because it's not the best story in the world. I would not pay £200 for it, I just know it. I would say the the minimum to maximum, you, I don't think you'll find it for a fiver. £10, God, you've got to be lucky to find that like me, but uh, I wouldn't pay no more than 25 to 20 for this. 20 to 25 that'd be at my max, that'd be my absolute max to pay for this audio, but if you're a, a, a ferocious collector, then you might, you probably might already have it, but if you're just someone who wants to just get audios just to start off, then if you find it for a cheap price, get it, just absolutely get it. But if you're thinking about spending like £40 on this audio, then I would back off and find it somewhere else. Because believe me, you can find this audio for a reasonably good price. Just don't be silly and pay like 50 quid to 100 to 200 quid for it, because I've seen it actually happen. So if I would rate Storm Warning, I would say a 7 out of 10. It is a very good audio, but not the best Paul McGann audio. I hope I, I hope I helped, and I hope you track down this audio, because it is a highly essential audio to get, because it's Paul McGann's first story, as well it has some very, very interesting characterization with the Doctor and Charlotte Pollard. As well, a very, a, a quite a good story as well, and, convince, and a little bit convincing monsters. They're not the best, but... It's mostly focused on the actual story, what's happening to the R01 and the characterization is probably the best thing about it. So thank you very much for watching the review of Storm Warning. Next video, of course, is the CD collection. Spare parts and the Storm Warning review are just a little build up to the CD collection. So I hope you track down the audio and thanks so much for watching.